Moving on to Design Studio. Uh, Design Studio is the dashboarding tool that you'd want to use if you had primarily BEX queries, OLAP cubes, or HANA as your data sources as opposed to relationship databases where you want to use Dashboard Designer more often. Design Studio 1.0 was a very functional, uh, but very bare bones dashboarding tool. In 1.1, which has been released with 4.1, uh, we've received a whole lot of updates. So the first thing is that obviously HTML5 is much more compliant in all of these items. The uh, HTML5s are animated now. Uh, there's also a number of different tables. You can use column combinations, you can use bar combinations, you can use waterfall charts. Uh, column combinations being bar and line. Going back to the previous slide that we were talking about, the kind of the unification of naming over the entire suite. And then each theme has its own corresponding color palette as well. One of the other things that we can now do here is much more des uh, design oriented. We can distribute items uh, both left and horizontally on top of each other. As you can see here, we can, uh, we can uh, line them so that they center on the left or they center on the horizontal line between buttons. Um, and that's included in the same containers or without the same containers. Also in Design Studio 1.1, CSS sheets are now supported for all those users that wanted to kind of make their own color palettes there what we can do is that we can create a number of different palettes uh, just using simple CSS and incorporating that into the Design Studio file. And you can either do it via application or via component. Again, it, it determines on how you want to brand your Design Studio dashboard. Also, the filtering panel, for those who have used Design Studio before, um, it, can be a it could have been a little cumbersome. It was improved a little bit so that uh, submit events now can trigger events as opposed to just changes in data. Uh, dimensions name can be either shown by their keys, their names, or their values, and ranges can be added uh, as to include multiple selections as well. Now, we can also use global parameters throughout Design Studio. Um, that means at the application level, you can pass in a value at runtime and then use that variable all the way through the entire application. You can also you can also pass in data or filters or certain security limits, that sort of thing, um, and then use those values within your script ed editors and within your variables themselves to kind of improve and further integrate your application all the way through. Now, what you're seeing here is a viewer in a browser of a Design Studio application. Here are the variables that are being passed in, and then their assignment and filters here in the script editor. You also are presented with a number of different options for calculations, uh, which will greatly improve the logic capabilities of Design Studio. Uh, you can define local variables so that you can modify those as well, like you would in Dashboard Designer or Excel or any other programming language. Um, it also supports mathematical calculations inside the actual script editor. So if you needed to do float to string, or if you needed to do an equal sign, or if you needed a comparison or a multiplication, here's a way to do that as well. Uh, Get data also supports values, text, units of measure, or scaling factors, which was not previously supported. And then also you can convert between different data formats. So you can see right here, you can do a float to a string. Now, one of the other great things about Design Studio 1.1 and something that SAP is really, really excited about is to help those who are using analysis studios to kind of move into OLAP cubes, right? And so OLAP, uh, using OLAP cubes and then moving that data into Design Studio. What this means now is that no longer are you limited by the charting capabilities of analysis studio. You can actually build them in and build very complex and very portable applications in Design Studio. So all you have to do is build a workspace and an analysis for OLAP, and then you can export that out to Design Studio so that you can display it on a mobile device or on desktops or share it in some other way other than through the BI platform. Now these Design Studio applications are stored on the BI platform, which means that you can then export them out to a mobile device, and as well as you can do further editing of that data or the charts or add visualizations to your analysis for OLAP as well. 